Hello, this is Dorothy Smith. I'm a close to my heart independent consultant. And today I want to show you how I made a fireplace. And we have, we are now carrying texture paste and also the plastic sheets to make your own stencils. And so I just kind of got it in my head since it's Christmas time or around Christmas that I wanted to make a fireplace. Um, with stockings being hung on the chimney with care and so I made a brick stencil from our art booking cartridge and uh, clearly I've used it and I didn't clean I actually went to a vendor show and was playing around with it and came up with uh, this and but I didn't have a place to clean my stencil off at the vendor show so it's kind of a little messed up but it still works just fine so here's my work mat that is kind of grippy on the bottom and has a real easy slick surface for cleaning and so I'm gonna use that to um, make my my brick material um, from the texture paste and so this is kind of the idea I'm taking the texture paste which is of course stark white and I'm going to color it. And you can color your texture paste. I used our reinkers, which are used to fill up our um, stamp pads when they get kind of dry. And so um, you can tint this texture paste with the reinker using ruby red, I'm using mink, which is a light gray. And I'm going to make a brick kind of a clay mixture uh, that looks kind of like a traditional red brick somewhat so I'm mixing the red with a little bit of the gray and uh, preferably not making a homogeneous mixture but the more I mix it the more homogeneous it gets of course and um, it mixes beautifully it is, it is very, very easy to mix, and as you can see. And so it's kind of orangey looking, so it needs, you know, a little bit more darkness. So I'm adding some more of the mink. Um, but the mink isn't quite strong enough. I should probably have used more of a um, pewter color to, to uh, get a little bit darker brick in there. But that's, that's okay. I mean, it's, it'll be fine. So, like I said, the more the more I'm trying to get it to look like the way I want, the more homogeneous it gets, which is not really what I was intending. So, I have such a large amount of the paste that I'm working with, it's kind of hard to color it easily um, and get kind of the look I wanted. I was kind of hoping for the look that I was that I had done at the vendor fair, but this this is going to be fine. It's it looks like traditional red brick color. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, start putting its easy offset knife for this and get it on the back side of the knife and then just start maneuvering it into the, the brick stencil. So, you know, when I first did this, the uh, putting this texture stuff down, I made it too thin and after it dried you could kind of see the the um, cardstock through uh, through the texture and so that's not really what I wanted to do and um, so I'm making it a little bit making my texture a little bit thicker but I don't want it so thick that it takes you know forever to dry and um, and of course with the brick Brick is hardly ever just a very even, regular um, surface. So having a little bit rough surface um, is really what I want. I want more of a rustic look to my fireplace, kind of an old-fashioned type fireplace. And so um, it's still kind of thick in some places. And you can, you can manipulate the texture with a little bit of 
motion and pull some of the texture up just to make it rougher. And I'm using my piercing tool to pull the um, stencil off and there's my brick. And so now it's got to sit for like 30 minutes to um, dry. And it, it does kind of look like old fashioned brick. It's rough and irregular and you know not homogeneous in color too much maybe a little bit a little bit more than I wanted but that's okay so um, the thing to do though is you want to go clean your stencil off and uh, now I've got I'm dry and it's like 30 minutes later and so it's all so these stockings um, and you know you could really do some serious cool work with that brick pattern uh, anyway this card is one of the PML cards that comes with tis the season uh, workshops your way and so I cut out the stockings because um, I really wanted to of course hang stockings on my fireplace and so I also got a piece of wood you know one of our many wood papers that we've had and just made a mantle and I'm gonna pop up the mantle um, to make it look you know a little thick and dimensional like a man mantle should be and then I'll hang the stockings underneath the mantle and I want them to stick away from the brick wall like stockings do and um, so I am gonna put a little pop on the uh, little strips that I cut to hang the stockings so I left a little piece of black from the background. Um, and so I'm going to hang my stockings up and then I'll cover those pieces with the mantle. So I kind of put that there and then decide, no, nah, you don't want two green stockings together. You want the red stocking in between the two green stockings, right? So there's our stockings which is perfect that there were three stockings because there's just three of us in our little family. So here comes my mantle and the mantle is a rustic looking mantle which is perfect with the brick. And so whoop. yeah when it gets stuck on there the the foam foam pop-up pieces are really tough. Now this fireplace, I used, I cut the black firebox out from the background of the PML card. And so I'm just, that is like a one and three-fourths by one and three-fourths um, square uh, to be the firebox. And um, I'm going to put it down. And then I used our art booking cartridge and lo and behold there was a campfire on the art booking uh, no on the you are here cartridge and so I cut the wood out with the wood paper once again and the flame is going to go on top and I'm going to color it with our color pencils so I'll put the wood in the fireplace and I'm going to use yeah the lighter side is going to stick out a little bit better so I'll um, tombow the darker side of the wood and uh, put it in the fireplace. And I'm excited about this. I think this was... So there's my little wood. And now I'm going to color my fire. So I've got, you know, red, orange, and yellow pencils. And I'm going to start off with red at the bottom of the fire. Because it, as the fire goes up, it gets... Um, more yellow towards the top so I'm going to go red orange and then yellow at the top of the flame and so what I'm <laughs> what I'm going to do is get my blending pen again and do my favorite thing of blending the color pencils uh, with the to um, smooth out the colors and make them just blend into each other like a fire normally would naturally would so 
I'm kind of happy with the way my fire, my little fire came out. So put it on top of the wood and I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that, um, I didn't, I didn't remember whether we had a fire in one of our cartridges, but of course I should have never doubted because we have some of everything on our cartridges. So here is my fireplace and I'm going to go ahead and cut off all the extraneous, um, cardstock. And I am going to use this fireplace as an element in one of my scrapbooking pages for um, Tis the Season. Because I thought, you know, I mean, we have a fireplace and I hang our three stockings on the fireplace every year. So uh, this will definitely be a significant element to one of my scrapbook layouts and I am pretty doggone happy with my fireplace. Woohoo! Thank you for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching my video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my blog at dotscrapbooking.com.